Tomorrow is the first day of school in New York City. Yeah, students and teachers can expect to find enhanced safety measures in place for the new year. The changes were outlined by the school's chancellor today. Sharon Curley here now to tell us all about them. Sharon. Yeah, recent school shootings, Teresa, have put safety front and center for the new school's chancellor. He says more school safety officers will be greeting students as they arrive for the first day of school tomorrow. And all doors at every public school in New York City will be locked except the front door. He also announced some new technology to alert educators and parents if there is an emergency. Our students and staff deserve to feel physically safe in their schools. New schools chancellor David Banks announcing his strategy for safety ahead of the first day of school. Safety is a basic fundamental need and as educators we know that when a child has to worry about their safety they're not going to be ready to take full advantage of their education and reach their fullest potential. The chancellor of the nation's largest public school district says recent tragedies like the mass school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, have prompted him to create a more extensive school safety plan. It includes a new system to alert principals, teachers, and parents of an immediate threat. Principals will now have access to a secure push notification messaging system, which will allow schools to communicate with staff and families in real time. Chancellor Banks is also hiring 350 school safety officers. 200 will be ready to go on the first day of school. Active shooter training will also be provided for educators of all age groups. It's unfortunate that we have to be in a place where even early childhood providers those who are working with our babies have to receive a level of training to be prepared for the potential of an active shooter in the facility. The chancellor speaking with other lawmakers at Martin Van Buren High School in Queens. The Queensboro president, who will be taking his own son to public school on the first day, says these measures are a necessary sign of the times. After all of the horrific tragedies we've seen across the country in recent years, it's incumbent on us to make sure we're truly doing all we can to ensure the safety of our children. Well, today the chancellor also announcing more social workers will be focused on mental health problems of students following the pandemic. And in the coming weeks, a program known as Project Pivot will deploy mentors and community organizations at schools with the highest number of incidents and suspensions. Steve. All right. Thanks, Sharon.